In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can use manual therapy and exercise and advice to treat thoracic outlet syndrome. Firstly, it's advisable to identify any daytime or nighttime positions which may be contributing to the thoracic outlet compression. Sleeping with the arms overhead and in an externally rotated position as shown here can be the cause of an increased compression and can cause the symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome. Depression of the shoulder girdle can also place more strain on the brachial plexus and this could be due to poor posture or even poor postural advice such as to hold the shoulders back and down which actually if you try it can make your hands go tingly and as it's pulling on the thoracic outlet and this could occur from wearing a heavy rucksack for example or carrying heavy bags. This could bring on or aggravate the symptoms of thoracic outlet syndrome. So if shoulder depression can be the cause of the symptoms, then it's often found that shoulder elevation can help to alleviate the symptoms. Shoulder shrug exercises can be used to strengthen and increase the tone of the shoulder elevation muscles. And to be specific, a wider grip shrug can help to target the upper trapezius fibers more than a closer grip shrug. The cutaneous stimulation provided by a piece of tape may also help to facilitate a slight increase in shoulder girdle elevation. Reducing scalene muscle tone using massage can also be helpful and if the compression is subcoracoid then techniques to reduce pec minor and pec major muscle tone may also be helpful. Another reason these muscles may be in an increased state of tone could be due to overuse of the accessory respiratory muscles. And this is often seen in people with respiratory conditions such as emphysema or chronic bronchitis. So teaching diaphragmatic breathing and pacing strategies can be helpful for reducing the causes of shoulder girdle muscle tension. So to summarize, in clinic, I often find that the combination of advice regarding avoiding shoulder depression postures or activities coupled with exercises which aim to slightly elevate the shoulder girdle often leads to a significant reduction in symptoms. And if it doesn't, then I'd further assess, try other things and probably refer on for further investigation and to check for other causes of their symptoms. Thank you for listening. Of course, we haven't covered every single possible treatment for this condition. So if you have something that you've tried and found to be successful, please share and leave a comment below.